Greetings and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about another method for those that missed my video three months ago about passive gear might become relevant again. And yeah, I know it's horrible to sell the stuff on market board, the patch 6.4 stuff and undercutting constantly and keeping up your value. That's really a bummer for me. And yeah, I'm trying my best to stay in the game and be patient, especially with the help that I showed you last time. But yeah, today there is an alternative and I want to dig back into that topic. If you already heard about that, you will know exactly what we're talking about. But there are a couple of additions and extensions I want to highlight this time. In general and basically we're talking about leaf quests. For those of you that didn't know anything about this, you have to become a culinarian to unlock this basically. Because otherwise you don't have access to the leaf quests here in Charlian which are worth your time and worth spending time with and investing some gil because you will get passive gil back. Passive means in this case, game is get getting you allowances as time passes by. And you can use these to just accept and receive some of these leaf quests and get the rewards here. And what does not look too impressive right now, just 4,800 gil, but will be doubled if you trade in the high quality version of whatever is required and demanded here. So you basically just go check all these leaf quests and go to your crafting log and inside the crafting log you basically just take this name and copy that into your recipe search. For example, I have my Tsai to Vunu or Vunu, whatever that's still, I don't know, It's I think it's just an A. Okay, so here you can see and now, now comes a little trick that let me tell you this console players now have access to final fantasy 16 and pc players don't so i think it's fair to say we at least have the option to use tools and plugins for final fantasy 14 right on the other hand it's nothing that would save you tons of time or make this so much more convenient because you basically have to check these here anyways and prices later on the market board anyway so this is just giving you a first glimpse. And what I do now is I hover over this item and you can see the market board price there. And it actually displays the normal value and the rare value you can see here. And what that tells us is that the normal value, you need three of them to exchange, would grant us around 2,800 because you need three of them. The value is 777 and the rare quality is what's actually more interesting because you need three of them, that means you have to buy out three 2,000 items here, which is a cost of 6,000, but you will get back around 10,000 if you also calculate in the crystals, and sometimes this kind of rises above 5,000. I'm not sure what that is depending on, but sometimes you get the reward of 5,500, which of course is doubled, and then you have 11,000 gil, which would be a profit for each quest you spend and each allowance you have generated of around four to five thousand gil. I know that doesn't sound like too much but it's definitely something you don't have to spend much time for. So you basically go and check the stuff here. I also have a pdf you can find in the description or a google docs document where you can just copy the names into your recipe search and just check that on the market board for all these pieces relevant. Of course, you could also check the other jobs here. Um, I haven't tested that on, on all of these, but those also have some material stuff that could be sold very cheaply on the market board. For example, the Gaia leather or anything like that. You can check these out too, but I think Culinarian is the best way to go. So you basically check all the recipes here. For example, let's also do the noodles of Elpis. And you can see that's not worth doing here, for example, because they are way too expensive. Sometimes um, that's why I basically want to talk about that whole topic again. You find these for way below what they're worth. So for example, I got, I think a 99 stack or multiple 99 stacks of the side to Vunu for around 1K, I think 1K on the high quality version. That means I have to spend 3000 gil to get back 7000 gil per leaf quest allowance, which is a lot. That's nearly a million for all the allowances I have stacked. That's why I basically want to do that video again. Sometimes you have to snipe the price. And that's, if you if you remember the name of this quest or you just accept the quest 
or when you still have to accumulate a stack of allowances for the big deal here, you can just accept the quest and check that from time to time. And that's where this add-on comes in handy. But like I said, it's not a big deal. It's not a game-changing add-on and plugin because this is just saving you a little bit of time. You could also just check that on the market board every now and then. And that's not something that would give you a big advantage if you just have this add-on. But yeah, that's basically it. You would just go there, then you buy the Tsai to Vunu, and like you can see on this footage here, you can just trade in by using the normal confirmation hotkey. You can change the confirmation hotkey here on Keybind. You go to the system, and then you go to confirm and put that somewhere what you can properly reach. And then you just confirm yourself through that and just note that the item that you want to trade has to be on a certain spot in your inventory. That's important here. That's where I made around 700,000 gil in 10 minutes, maybe, or 15 minutes at most. And yeah, just had to stack up my allowances. And if you have multiple characters, you can do that for basically all characters. Sometimes, if you're really lucky, people sell that for very underpriced. In my opinion, 700,000 for nothing, not crafting anything, not doing stuff required. You could try to craft these, but I think that's is definitely way more time investment that you need to spend here. Just buy these out cheap from somewhere. Uh, you can also check prices on other servers and then you're absolutely good to go and you can grind down these awesome gills. I can tell you the name of the plugin, of course, but please be careful. It's the price inside here. That's how it's called. I think it's a very, very nice addition to the Penny Pincher because that can help you in a lot of situations and a lot of cases casually checking prices on any item when you just hover over them. That's really, really nice. You can also just use that if you want to dissect which item is worth crafting, for example. If you go for the recent patch 6.4 stuff and you don't know, hey, I have tons of materials like I have here, but I don't know which is really worth crafting right now. For example, you can see these earrings don't cost much of these. These are the priciest materials. Then you have these. These are the second priciest materials. And those still give you 150,000. And if I compare that to, let's check some weapons. I think the weapons actually dropped very, very heavily last time. You can just go back and check this out. The weapons require way more of the materials, but grant you the same amount of money on my server, at least, for example. And yeah, of course, that depends on the server you're in. But as you can see, that's a lot. And that's something you should definitely not touch too much on. Um, if you know that the costs are way overextended over something like accessories. But they might be selling more on the other hand. So yeah, very, very cool plugin. Shout out to the creator of this, who is Kusuki. Yeah, thank you for providing us this awesome plugin. And of course, as Yoshi P and the team is concerned with Final Fantasy 16 and the launch of that game, I think we can talk a bit more freely in the next couple of days about certain tools and additions to the game that are technically forbidden but i really love having so yeah thank you for watching i hope this is helpful please don't see this as an aggression or attack against console players um play the game on whatever console and whatever platform you like it's just more comfort but yeah you can disagree you can agree i just want to point this out and highlight something that's very very cool to have and useful that i'm very very much liking about these tools and in combination with doing this stuff here.